Hey everyone, I'm here with Corey. Say hi, Corey. Hey, how's it going? And uh, today we are going to be working on wrapping up the basic and maybe the only Fishman. But this Fishman has a special behavior where you're going to see a, a shadowy shape on the surface of the swamp water. And it's going to scroll around fairly quickly along the bottom. And then it'll pop up at a pretty long range distance from the player, either in front of him or behind him. And then the fishman will pop up out of the water and spit his attack at the player after landing. So we're going to see if we can get that behavior working. So in order to do that, the first thing we're going to need is to create a sprite object for the shadow on the surface of the swamp water. So let's see, I can... Yeah, this is specific to this level, so I might as well create it right in here. So I'll just create a sprite. And we will right-click down here and import frames from a strip. I think you already saved out a strip. Mm -hmm. um, a water shadow. Here it is. So there's that. And then two. There we go. And then the... That's perfect. And... Beautiful. Okay, so it, and we'll make the animation loop. Maybe make it a little bit faster. And we will also rename it to Fishman Shadow. All right, and we're also going to give it a. Let me think. Shall we give it a bullet behavior? I think so. Bullet B L. Click, sprite, make it 16 by 16 pixel, and we will just go, let's see, something like this. There we go. And we'll call it Fish Man Shadow Spawner. Okay, and then okay. this one will make it left, which will be negative one. So this one is positive one, and this one is negative one. All right. So now we have the spawners, and eventually we need to make them invisible. I might as well do that now. Initial state, visible, we'll turn it to invisible. Okay, so now we can go right into the events to get this rolling here. So if I steal some of this logical stuff, then it'll save me a little bit of time. Spawner right, spawner left, viewport. Yeah, that's all fine. All right, so we'll do that. C, go back here, and then we'll just paste it down the bottom for now, and then same thing here, replace object, and fishman, how's that alphabet work again, there we go, okay. And then this is going to spawn something, but not the flying enemy. But we're going to replace and replace the object. We're replacing this with the uh, spawner, and we're replacing this with this. Okay. So now it spawns it, it sets the speed, it sets the angle appropriately. So if I run it, we should at least see those shadows go across the screen. Yep, there's one. And let's see if the other one comes from the other angle when we scroll a little bit. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that's working. They're not well placed, but that's no big deal. Let's try that. There, that's pretty decent. That's perfect, actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I think the visibility might be perfect. Like it is swampy, murky water, and kind of the whole right. point is you have to be paying attention. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. 
I, I guess once it's all working, we should play test the level, and if it's a little too hard to see them coming, yeah. then you could just add some highlights to it as well or something. But mm -hmm. anyway, as always, save progress whenever you make any actual, well, <laughs> any progress. Allow myself to introduce myself. Right, so we'll yeah. the splash. All right, so save progress and back to level three, level three events. So we are going to create, first we'll create the fish man actually. So we're going to, we are going to create object, general create object, fish man. At layer FG and at the X and Y position of the little shadow thing, which is called fish something. Oh, the other really important thing we have to immediately set the animation of the fish man mm -hmm. to, I think we named it jump file. Let me open up the spider file to make sure. Okay. Now this probably it, this probably isn't finished. It's probably going to behave in a strange way because we don't have anything yet. I don't think like he might just suddenly switch to the spit animation mid jump or something like that. We don't have anything making sure he doesn't do something else instead of staying in the jump animation. Right. There it is. Let's see if it uh, pops out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I know why that happened. Yes. And Corey figured it out. It is here in this very event that makes him move upward. He is, of course, not below the Y floor height in this situation um, because he is spawned below it. So what I can do is I can just copy this and we'll just bring it right into level three's events. We'll paste it down here. And now we're going to make this so he's already covered for and we're going to replace that with the fish man replace the object this with fish man and then now we just have to do change this to be greater than or equal and it should certainly definitely famous last words work now there he comes Oh, yep. And I, like I said, 20 is too high a number. Eventually he will come landing down here. But do we want to wait that long? It doesn't care what the animation is. So even if it's walk, it's going to keep, this is going to keep triggering as true. Mm -hmm. So I could theoretically just add trigger once while true. Yeah. Trigger once while true. Let's see if that fixes that issue. There he is. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> that was very interesting. This should definitely say, see how this doesn't check what the Y velocity value is, mm -hmm. even though it's using it and affecting it, it's adding to it. So this mm -hmm. is the problem. This should be Y velocity would have to need to be greater than, uh, at another condition. Fishman. We're getting close. A compare instance variable. Y velocity is greater than zero. Oh wait, no, this is for less than. This is to go up. Less than zero. Okay. That should have fixed it. And the other thing we could do is make sure that the animation has to be jump. We might as well for the extra security, so to speak. Let's try again. Oops. Yes. Nice. That was a thing of beauty. All right. And now if I scroll the screen a little more, we'll test the one from the other direction. Oh, I guess, did he already? Oh, no, those were ones that are just there normally. Here it comes. Here's the shadow. Beautiful. We got it. All right, very cool. That's all we needed to do for this video. So thanks everyone very much for watching.